Hey, hey everybody, it's Overkill here with another Medieval Kingdoms 1212 video. So today we're taking a look at the Kingdom of Georgia as requested by Eminet Gaming and Poljo, Poljo? <laughs> YT, sorry. Um, so yeah, we're taking a look at the Kingdom of Georgia. So this is the general, uh, Monaspa Guard. They are a heavy bow cav. You can see they also have lances. Um, Seems to be a reoccurring theme that a lot of the eastern factions have uh, horse archer generals. Interesting. Um, if we go over... Oh, I should probably group all these, eh? Group them up for ease of access. Um, if we take a look at the horse archers, might as well, in the same class as the general, we have Georgian horse archers. And apparently these are heavy. <laughs> I don't really see the heaviness of them, but hey, whatever. They look pretty cool. And then all the way over here, we have, uh, oh gosh, Asnari horse archers. And they are actually a unit that is able to deploy, or uh, gorilla deploy, so I put them all over here for whatever reason. But you can see them. They're, they're a lot cooler looking, essentially. <laughs> Lots of uh, scale mail and those little metal plates and stuff. They have lances as well, it seems, so, hmm, very interesting. Uh, we'll take a look at the cavalry next. We have Asnari lancers. They look very cool. Leather and chain mail. And of course, lances, as their name suggests. Uh, we have monospot lancers as well. Lots of lancers. They look cool. As you can see, uh, the king doesn't look much different than a normal faction or a normal unit leader, apparently. <laughs> That's a bit of a shame. Oh boy, what is happening to this horse? Oh my gosh, look at his eyes. He's melting. The ho this guy's like, oh my god, what's happening? Um, this is the same unit, and then we have the, t Jesus, Tadzruli, Tadzruli, I don't know. But they're here, they look cool. So yeah, that's all the cavalry. Uh, let's just move on to bows. We have, uh, Zva Zvanian, oh gosh, Zvanian archers. They're pretty cool. Medium bow infantry. Um, we have, oh gosh, why, why are you guys doing this to me? Metsuko, oh. These guys, these archers. They're all chainmail, it looks pretty cool. Dude's pissed. And then finally we have uh, Monaspa. I can actually pronounce that foot archers. They have shields. So I almost think they're probably, they must be like the Devor for the Russians, uh, where they charge in, they have shields and swords and stuff. So that's gonna be interesting. So then we go on to infantry. Uh, we have Sh Shubosani, oh my god, Molish Spears. Militia Spears. Let's just call it that. So yeah, you can see they're the typical, they just have tunics and cheap shields apparently. Not even painted or anything. Yep. Uh, we move on then to Cartlian Spearmen. They're a bit better. Painted shields, chainmail. Pretty cool. Then have that word again, Spearmen. So these guys are a lot heavier. They have metal bucklers and stuff. Interesting, a lot more armor. Look pretty cool. We then have Kev Kevshire, Kevshire. I don't know, swordsmen. You can see they are, they are they are fully chainmailed, which is quite cool. It looks nice. Uh, they're all exactly the same guy, though. Almost a lot of them have this little mustache, this weird mustache thing. But then there's some guys like this, and he's just like, mm -hmm. look at me. Uh, then to finish off the roster, we have Ted's Ruli swordsmen. Same as the cavalry, of course, only on foot. And they have axes. They look awesome. But yeah. So yeah, guys, that is the Georgian um, army. We're going to be facing off against the, uh, the Hungarians today. So let's do it. So like always, I'm pretty much just going to try to go for like a mass charge on them. Because why not? We got our horse archers moving as well. But yeah. So there's their Hungarian king. Might take some shots at that, uh, at those peasants. Scare them off, apparently, as well. Oh, 
Get these guys over here. Archers! The enemy is attacking our general! Well, peasant archers have. Oh, never mind. 180. Never mind. That's still more than most units, though, so. Interesting. Alright, so we'll start shooting at them as well. And now we can start kiting this, uh. Hungarian Knights unit. Speaking of Hungarian Knights, they look pretty menacing. So yeah, now we're going to start shooting at them. And here comes all the infantry. Oh god. Oh god. Run. Run. Save them. No. Oh, they backed off. Alright. Reform the lines. Oh, no, never mind. They're going for it. Right, so as always, guys, same with every episode, we are going to go for, or at least attempt to get the uh, the classic clash that you get in movies and TV shows and stuff. And here it comes. There we go. Not as good as most of the other ones, but... Oh, well. Oh, well. Alright, these guys are just getting wrecked. We need to get out of there. Oh, no. Save the king. Or whatever he's called. The Monospa guard. Kill him. Alright. I'm really tempted, I'm really interested to see um, if we charge these guys in, do they draw their, their shields and stuff. Let's do it. Oh, they're just walking. Come on. Let's see. Do they draw their shields and swords? Oh, no. They lose their shields. That's weird. Hmm. Okay, so they're not they're not as good as the Devor apparently. That's a bit of a shame. Actually, it's not even a little bit of a shame. That's a huge shame. It'd be really cool if they uh if they use their shields. But oh well. Here comes a huge charge from the Georgians. And it's enough to uh, freak these Hungarian soldiers out. There we go. You can see that we're just destroying them. Oh, there goes a head. Excellent. Yeah, these guys mean business. Oh. There we go. Here's, an, here's a nice cavalry fight bef between the Knights of Hungary and our Lancers. Excellent. But yeah, you can see the situation is not very good for the, uh, for the Hungarians. Oh my god! That was awesome. Oh, I thought I thought maybe an animation was gonna happen there, but nope. Not that lucky apparently. <laughs> but yeah. Damn, these guys are still fighting those Hungarian knights. Yeah, they're like never gonna break. But yeah, you can see the uh, the Hungarians are not in a good situation. Oh no, these people are invisible. Oh boy. But yeah. Their spirits are breaking though, of course. Not much as a surprise there. Charge! 
charge into the last charge into the remaining Hungarians. Oh, the poor invisible man. Would have been nice if we could have gotten some uh, some more animations there, but apparently not. Right, so now... Oh, look at these guys. Just being shot at. Come on, get some shots off. I want to see them get hit. I don't know, that, is, that would be flaming shot. There we go. That only killed like one guy. Just charge him, whatever. Okay, you can see the enemy are breaking now. I think they've had enough of being surrounded. Oh, jeez. And Archer was savage, apparently. He just... Just threw him right to the ground. Alright. Now we have to line up for a charge here. Line up for a charge from all of our cavalry. Open up an access point for them. Here we go. Here they go indeed. Eh, it wasn't as cool as it could have been, I suppose, but... Oh well, it was still enough. These um these Pavisiers are doing really good holding their ground. But they cannot withstand an entire army attacking them. So they must break. I just realized a couple of my guys don't have arms. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Yeah, look at these guys. They're crazy. Alright, these guys gotta go help out against these knights, apparently. <laughs> but uh, then again, they'll probably break if these guys do, so. Dang. They are just holding on. They don't give a shit. Back to back, just fighting back my army. Crazy. Those guys are ridiculous. That's all. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Everyone needs an attack or a push. Push into them. Absolutely crazy. There we go. Now they've broken. And now the uh, the Hungarian knights should too. Oh, shooting some arrows at them. There we go. They're done. All right, finally. So uh, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed, please be sure to leave a like and a comment down below as always. And if you're enjoying this little series, make sure you're subscribed because they're going to be coming out pretty often. Uh, be sure to leave down below what you'd like to see next, whether it's a faction focus or a scenario. Guys, I need scenarios. Tell me things that you want to see from history. And uh, I'll attempt my best to, well, not recreate them, but make the battle happen in this mod. Um, definitely, definitely do that. Just like um, where someone sent me the, the request for the Constantinople battle. I love stuff like that. Be sure to send me, uh, send me more requests like that. There we go. Or do they still have another unit somewhere or something? <laughs> what in the world? Why hasn't it ended? 
Weird. But yeah. Oh! The general's all the way over here for whatever reason. What the hell? <laughs> the last stand of the enemy general, apparently, even though he's probably going to break before I really get over there. But yeah. Um, give, me, give me ideas for battles, guys. Like, um... Anything from history. I mean, there's like Agincourt. Um, oh, there's, just, there's, there's too many. <laughs> there's too many to say, really. There we go. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. And that was the worst in outro ever, but I'll see you next time. Goodbye.